Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the DLL register server was not found error that you are experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results should come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import, and then navigate to the file location. So once you've done that, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double-clicking on the HK Classes Root folder. Do the same thing now for the Type LIB folder. So go ahead and just click on a random folder here and start typing in Type LIB. You see it show up down here. So at this point, you want to go ahead and right-click on this key and select permissions. You want to select the users. You want to select your username here and make sure full control is enabled and you want to go down this list to get to administrators. Make sure it allow is checkmarked as well as for your username. Make sure it's full control. So full control for administrators as well as your user account name. And now at this point, you can attempt to re-register the file and see if that was able to resolve the problem. If you're still having an issue, something else we could try here as well. If you open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And into this command line window, I want you guys to type in the first command here. It's a DISM command. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste it in. Give us a couple minutes to run. So once that first scan is finished, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video and go ahead and paste it into the command prompt window as well and give us a couple of minutes. Okay, so once that is done, go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. So then hopefully at this point, the entry point DLL register service loaded was not found error should be resolved. 
So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.